promptly the Midlands and also indeed Midwest and then beyond that that you may look at some of the big hospitals, the academic hospitals in Cork, Galway and Dublin to develop it. But it, is, it would be a staggered approach. Uh, it's not clear how much budget that's going to be given to that. It's also not clear yet whether that's going to get top priority over a different area of medicine. Uh, I'm biased, I'm an oldest, I think the brain's important. I can't think of another area that's more important, so I think I'd be investing in it. Professor Tim Lynch, ending that report by John Burke. The main news again, defence or finance minister Michael Noonan has defended Fine Gael's investment plans and forecasts of growth in the economy, saying the party was taking domestic and external risks into account. Speaking on this programme, he said that the main risk to the economy is the issue of whether or not a stable government after the general election with a plan to carry the recovery forward over its term was elected. Mr Noonan said a change of government policies would put the recovery at risk. The Sinn Féin leader Gerry Adams has reiterated that in government his party will scrap Irish water and its staff will be redeployed. Speaking on this programme, he said people who had paid the water charge would not be refunded and those who had not paid the charge would not be pursued. He said Sinn Féin would take legal advice on how to deal with the contracts between Irish Water and several companies. And the Israeli army has claimed that two 15-year-old Palestinians were shot dead after they opened fire on Israeli soldiers in the occupied West Bank. They said that a third Palestinian teenager was killed in a separate attempted attack. That's our lot. You can go to rte.ie forward slash this week to listen back or get a podcast of today's programme or indeed to look at the programme archives. The production team this week were John Burke, Daniel Quinn on sound, Kieran Cullen.